Hi Bugs, Sammy Bug here and welcome back to my channel. We're back with another Firewatch game. I had to re-upload this video because I had a copyright issue. I decided to cut the music out um, but then completely forgot that you cut all the commentary out of the part that the music was in so I ended up re-uploading it and just keeping the copyright music uh, in, in the video. Never mind, it's a copyright strike. I knew one day playing a video game that that would happen. <laughs> but we're on day two, so we're going to see what happens in this episode. Because I, I'm i not sure, because I've not, I've not played the rest of this game before. I've not watched anybody else play it. I mean, I've seen people play clips of it, which is how I found the game. Right, so we're on day two of this game. Let's see what today is going to bring in the Firewatch world. I'm really enjoying the commentary between Henry and Delilah. Wake it's up. really funny. <laughs> wakey wakey. Rise and shine. Hey, wake up. Oh, wake, okay. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Uh, there's no backup. Can I, I go really fix it? Should I be case. worried? Uh, I mean, we've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. <laughs> Henry. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, so we've got to go to the power line. I don't think there's anything else we can report about in here. But I see he's cleaned up his room. He just needs to do his thing. So let's go. Let's see where the line is. We need to go back to the cave we was at yesterday. So which way was the cave? I'm pretty sure it was this way, wasn't it? We have to go down all them big stairs. Um, yeah, I think this is the right way. Oh, it's foggy. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, talk about Bucket, talk about Julia, talk about your favourite bar. Uh, let's talk about Bucket uh, you know, for now. Um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. Hmm, okay. No, uh, I don't hey, think he has any idea. Hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? What was all that about? Uh, ask about who the was call. that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. 
Hold on a minute, why is she annoyed just because I was listening to a conversation? It was her fault she kept it on the radio. Okay then, let's copy map information anyway. <coughs> Sorry about that guys. Uh, take note, let's read this note. Ron, really wish the powers that could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mum. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of fairies instead. Miss you, Dave. Who's Dave and Ron? I'm guessing they used to be Firewatch people too, but I keep finding these notes from them, so I'm not quite sure who they are or what's happened to them. Uh, we've got some toilet roll. Nice. Okay then. Uh, okay, we, we can't do anything with these. One chance to die. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's close that. I have no idea where I'm going by the way, so survey communication lines north of the canyon. So that's north. Where's the canyon? North of the canyon. Ah, oh, we need to go back up there. Damn, we've gone completely the wrong way. Okay, so let's go back this way. I should have really looked at that first hand. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Uh, I got the job after paper. What do you mean I was looking for a job like this? I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like well, that? Well, I did have a life. Now, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. Uh, what happened last summer? Uh... What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Uh, why would Yellowstone they... is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? Uh, what should they have done? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. <laughs> like the goddamn park can burn down again. Okay then. Uh, but yeah, we do have ties. We just came out here obviously to get some space, I guess, because of everything that's going on with Julia. Um, no idea where I'm going by the way guys. It looks like I'm back at my watchtower. I went completely the wrong way. So let's just get my map back out. Right, I'm going the right way. I need to go this way and go to the cave. So we're on the right track as of now. Should have really checked my map before I ended up setting off. <laughs> I wonder what Delilah does all day then, because it seems like we go out and do the most of the work and she just sits in the lookout tower. I really like the fog though, this it looks really good in the game. Uh, 
Is it this way? Didn't we come down this way? We've come the same way. What the hell? Oh god, I'm lost here. Yeah, there we go. We found it at last. <laughs> On the right track and the caves just down here because that's the spot where that guy was stood if you remember on the last video it's got a very eerie feeling about being here So we have to go through the cave. So where's the cave here? This cave is so creepy looking. I don't like it. I definitely think something happened there, down down in the cave, but I don't know. Um north of the canyon. Right, so I'm, I'm guessing that is the line, the little um, grey line. Let's go see. I think this is the right, right way. Let's get our compass. Uh, the right way <laughs> right yes I think we just need to keep following this path aha yeah the lines here so we need to follow the line I'm guessing uh, is it up this way yay we made it at last <laughs> it's very confusing sometimes Keep going this way. Better tooth. Right. So we're all good at the moment. Um, let's have a look. We have to go right down there. I'm guessing we have to keep following that right to the very top of it. That's a long way to go. It's a good job it's a very pretty game. <laughs> There's a cache up there anyway, so maybe we could go and get that cache. And go finish the map. There we go, there's the cache. We need to go up and round. Ah, uh, naughty people littering. Hopefully we'll be able to get back up there. <laughs> uh, Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Roger that. It's a long walk back. Ah, uh, end of the wire. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. It's snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer cans out here. The same beer those girls were drinking. They also left us a 
a message. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, That's what if fun. something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. How on earth am I meant to find two teenage girls walking around here? They could be anywhere. I, I could end up going to the lake and they could wander around back the other side. It's pretty impossible to find two teenage girls amongst on all of this. Not unless I know exactly where they are. Like yesterday when there was the uh, putting fireworks everywhere. What was I? I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Alright, so we can't go that way. I'm trying to look for that cache that I found. It was up on that hill. I don't know where it's gone now. I'll have a look at my map in a minute. Uh... Is this the way we came? I get confused of where we came. Find the teens. Uh, the com co com wire, right? And the cache is up there. I don't even think I'm going the right way. Don't fall down there, Henry. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for uh -huh, supplies. Uh. Hmm, let's have a look. Oh, got a camera. <laughs> Took a picture of myself. Nice well, rope. I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. <laughs> wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Uh, look out, ranger, ex-lover. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Uh, why? I couldn't handle your charm. Did you keep in touch? Why? Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Mm. Anyway, I wonder so what goes. happened to Ned. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? 
Sounds like a good plan, Delilah. Uh, take photo. Uh, oh, I've got quite a lot of photos left. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. <laughs> Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Probably. Uh, note. Let's read the note again. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. <laughs> I went to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for Lowe's. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in the hammock? I'm starting to think the forest service only picks the deranged and perverted. <laughs> Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. <laughs> Let's toast to Deb at the spot. <laughs> okay, then. I'd like to know who this Ron and Dave are. Um, so we've got that. So find the teens. Where do we need to go? Are we going back to the lake? Uh, I can't remember what she said about where the teens might be. Go back down this this way. I'm guessing. I have no idea. Hey. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, Ooh, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds I mean I care about people and I like companionship as much as the next person I'm actually married but you're here uh, it's not, she's sick and shouldn't be here she's sick and I shouldn't be here but I am I I'm sorry Henry what is it we'll get into it okay well in the meantime you are here and it's beautiful and escaping isn't always something bad Hey, Sometimes uh, it's good for us. What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? <sighs> uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, just a little bit. Could be the hills who are, are they keeping out or what are they keeping in? Could those girls be behind this fence? What are they keeping in? What do you in? think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? <laughs> Maybe loads of hedgehogs. Okay. Thousands even, full percentage points of the global hedgehog population. Uh-huh. The New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? Haha, <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high quality information. <laughs> She's such a doofus. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. <gasps> Sorry guys, I can't stop yawning. <clears throat> I'm pretty tired today. Right, let's go this way because I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea where I'm meant to be going for these teenagers. But didn't we go this way? I'm guessing we go this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I went this way because that rope is where, where we've just come down from. I keep going the wrong way. But crying out loud. Right, let's go back. And then go left. But I'm pretty sure that's the way we went last time, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm all lost. Right, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Finally. 
I don't know if there's a trail we're meant to be on, but I'll have a look. Uh, right, okay, we, we're going, we're getting somewhere. Just follow all this road down. Burn dairy. What does she have? Uh. She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa! How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Uh, we didn't get it. Devastating. Devastating? Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Well, Delilah seems very nice and supportive, at least, which is good. I think they'll make some very good friends. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> flapjack? Excuse me, flapjack? <laughs> you know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Uh, hey, Flapjack. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's beautiful! Ah, there. There's a rope hook here. I don't know where I'm going, guys. Help me! Right, space. It's a long way down this canyon. <laughs> Hopefully this rope doesn't break like the last one. Right oh. Right, are we on the right track? No idea. Let's look at our map. Find the teens. Are we meant to be going back to the lake? I don't know where I'm going. Uh, not from Dave, not from Ron. We don't need them. Is that a fire? What is that? Hey, do you see that? Uh, yeah, what is it? Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. What, you, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. Awesome. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. I knew that was a little bit weird, just saw these little clouds of smoke going up. But we're at the lake, which is where the girls were. Um, finally found somewhere. <laughs> so it said southwest, so south. Can't find smoke, right, so we're going down there. I'll just follow the lake round. We're off on a big adventure today, everybody. How'd you meet? Uh, we met in a bar. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> it's usually how it is. <laughs> drunk. Get a little bit more courage when you're a bit drunk. I'm trying to follow the lake round. So, to see if there's any track anywhere. I can't go up there. It'd be good if we could actually 
uh, ask Delilah questions. Like, I know we can't really reply to her until she's asked, asked us something. It'd be good if we can talk to her. She's asking us all these questions and we can't do the same back. Uh, right, we need to go down here. I'm guessing so. We'll have to go and get that cash. So attach rope. Let's go. <clears throat> I reckon this is going to be a long one, guys. Right, oh, uh, right. Let's find that cache. It's better when we've found all the caches because then we'll have all the um, trails on the map. I'm going to get another copyright claim now, aren't I, with this music? I can't cut the music out either because of microphone situation. Just while this music's on, I'm just going to turn music off, which is a shame. <coughs> which is a shame because it's nice to have the music in the background, but I really don't want to keep getting copyright claims. So if I just turn the music off, we can hear everything else, and then we're just not going to get any copyright claims. Uh, missing person, who is this? Uh, Mitch Michaels, 31. Identifying features. J Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on the 3rd of July. He was first probably missing on the 29th of July by forest service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, Mitch was seen. Ooh. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area, the thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You didn't like the guy her P.S. PTSD, that doesn't sound good. Grizzlies won't kill the holes. PTSD? <coughs> that doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Hey, you've been sending me on bloody jobs everywhere. That's why I'm not in the tower. Okay, why didn't that report? I was reporting the... There we go. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? No idea. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Okay, also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yep. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. <laughs> uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. So, I wonder what is down here. Uh, I need to follow this path up. That kind of scared me then. I thought that was someone behind me. <laughs> So follow this up and it should lead us to where it says on the map, hopefully. <laughs> ah, there we 
go. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. <laughs> what a job this is. How am I meant to find them? These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Ah, found my sheets! <laughs> so they did break into your tower. Looks yeah, like... he's got his sheets back. Can he pick them up? No, I can't, I can't even pick them up. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. <laughs> At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and you're going to find the police. And we're going to find the police, or whatever, and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then come and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some f fireworks dick. Oh, well, I think they got the wrong end of the stick because I didn't do this. And I'm not going to jail for something I didn't do. Well, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Uh, they're calling the police. They think I attacked them. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> did you? No. No, I fucking didn't. Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Day three. I'm guessing it takes you back to the Firewatch Tower itself. But I'm going to leave this episode here. So hopefully this is saved. <laughs> right, so that is the end of that episode. So that was a bit of an interesting video. It kind of went longer than I thought it was going to be because I ended up getting lost on a lot of places. But I'm interested to find out where this is going and what happened to Ron and his... was it Ron? Neve? Nev? Nev? <laughs> and his kid. Uh, they came out and they just disappeared. Uh, that other camper that disappeared, it'd be interesting to know what happened to him. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far and uh, I'm interested to see where it's going to go. But if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! <laughs>